I'm looking at you from this angle now because I want to demonstrate a, a few tricks that, that I've, I've learned. Uh, first of all, I'd like to show you what I call a one-handed flam. Uh, when I first heard it on a record, it sounded like a, like a cross stick, like this, but as a flam. I thought maybe the drummer was, was hitting the rim of a tom-tom at the same time, like... Anyway, I was doing a, a, a session with Kenny Loggins, and there was a wonderful percussionist, Milt Holland, who uh, saw me trying to, to imitate that sound, and he said, no, man, it's all done with one hand. And the way you accomplish it, you just go off a tom-tom at the same time you're going to be hitting the cross stick, like... Which is kind of neat, because it frees you up. You don't have to, to stop your ride pattern or whatever. Let me show you what it sounds like. The next thing I'd like to share with you is something I call a tom slide, or I, I just recently learned it. It can, it can be called a gliss, too. Let's go to the back camera so you can see what I'm doing here. You may have heard uh, with percussionists on conga drums uh, that boo sound. Well, how they accomplish that is uh, you can do this on a drum set, too. You just kind of pinch up a little, little bit of skin on your finger, like press tight, and the, when you're first learning, it's easier to tap the drum. And when you feel the vibration start, you slide your finger across. <laughs> it helps to lick it, too. I even tried to imitate Chuck Berry once. But I I remember doing a session once where uh, I did, uh, on a big break, instead of just hitting the tom, I did that. And the producer loved it so much, he had me go back and do it in harmony. So I put another tom-tom on it. Now, the third trick I'd like to show you is, is something, if, you, if you're uh, trying to build, like during a solo, uh, or behind a soloist, and, uh, and, you know, you sort of want the sound of a percussionist, uh, as if a percussionist were playing with you. Um, uh, you can do this with the toms as you're riding with a two-handed ride with hi-hat and ride cymbal. Let me show you what I mean. One, two, three. I realize that was a little quick. Uh, let me break it down for you and show you what I'm doing. Actually, I'm just playing 16th notes uh, on the cymbal and, uh, and the upbeats with the left hand on the hi-hat. So. One, two, three, four. The bass drum. You can start adding the tom-toms as well. Now I'd like to show you some, uh, some things with the hi-hat. Uh, the hi-hat may be my favorite instrument in, uh, in the drum set because it's, it's capable of making so many different sounds. 
uh, you know, foot operated, closed, foot operated, the bell struck on the side, struck in the center. It's a great instrument. But before I get into all of that, uh, I'd like to do something with the band. <laughs> 